Turkey has slammed RT's report based on information from a reliable source claiming Israel used a Turkish military base to launch a recent airstrike on Syria. Ankara has also condemned the media for even mentioning the RT report. The latest here from our Middle East correspondent, Paula Slia. The Turkish foreign minister saying to quote him, it is absolutely wrong. And he's accused those of spreading the story of an act of betrayal. He said that Turkey will never be a partner nor a part of such attacks and that the ones who claim this want to damage Turkey's power and reputation. He slammed Turkish media for even mentioning the report. Now, we approached the Israeli Defense Forces for a second time, asking them to comment. Their reply was that the response has not changed since their earlier answer and that is that they refuse to comment on the issue. We never got a reply from the Prime Minister's office. There we just received an email response to our request saying that they will not be participating in our broadcast. We also never got a reply from the Foreign Affairs Ministry. A reminder of what we actually know at this stage. A reliable source told RT that Israel used a Turkish military base to help stage the recent airstrike on the the Syrian city of Latakia. Now, what we know is that it was a pre-dawn attack. It happened in early July. Latakia is a key Syrian port not far from a Russian base. There were several Syrian troops who were reportedly killed and wounded in that attack. The RT sources tell us that Israeli planes left that military base in Turkey and approached Latakia from the sea. And this was to make sure that they were not inside Syrian airspace and so that they could not become a legitimate target of the Syrian Air Force. What is important is that the attack originated on the Turkish side of the border. And revelations that Turkey may in fact be cooperating with Israel against an Arab country would indeed be, for lack of a better word, highly inconvenient for Turkey itself and for its NATO allies, including the United States. You need to remember that Turkey positions itself as a key power player and a regional rival of Israel. It's also interesting to note that the global mainstream media has largely ignored the RT report. It's continued focusing its attention instead on the conflict inside the country itself and the controversy surrounding the whole question of the use of chemical weapons. Here in Israel, the report did receive a little coverage, not that much, but certainly across the board, just about every Israeli analyst and expert that we approached to comment on this story did decline to give his or her viewpoint.